Lady and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to install my freshly rebuilt 4L60E transmission in my 2004 GMC Yukon. Uh, if you haven't watched the video of me rebuilding it, I'll put it in the description. And if you haven't watched the video, it's actually my first video of me taking it out. Just for fun, it's been this many days and I have the transmission rebuilt now. And again, fingers crossed, I'm going to put it in. It's my first time rebuilding a transmission. I'm going to cut myself off there. I forgot to record my intro. So as per my standard format, my name is Jeremy. This is Region Automotive and let's get to work. One last thing before we get started. I kindly ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. It simply takes 10 seconds for the viewer, and it really does keep me motivated to continue making videos and get this information out there to you guys. I really do appreciate it, and as a bonus, it makes me as happy when Borat is finally ready to take his lovely sister's hand in marriage. High five. So I'll show you my setup. Um, yeah, there's a the rebuilt trans. Like I said, check out the video if you haven't seen it. Uh, I have, uh, I'm going to do the rear main seal on there, my two exhaust seals, transfer case seal, 15 jugs, so 15 quarts of transmission fluid. Uh, I'm going to flush out my torque converter, uh, and then, yeah, like dry transmission, and then the transfer case takes some as well. There's my bell housing. So yeah, I bought extra fluid just in case. Have the truck here on jack stands, nice and high and secure. I gotta show you outside though, because the weather's been just ridiculous this week. Um, again, I don't know why I'm showing you. It's not like you can see how cold it is, but I was here at nine in the morning. It was minus 39 degrees Celsius. Uh, me and my grandpa had to monkey around out there to get the Yukon is parked behind those mixers there. Pull it out. Of course, his SUV was spinning, so we had like 100 feet of rope with the forklift on the dry pavement here. Then we'd pull it in 20 feet at a time, take out a length of rope, 20 feet at a time, take out a length of rope, uh, let all the hot air out. This thing was a freaking ice cube. Like, it's like now just warm to touch, but like when it came in, it was so cold that like the heat coming off the heater would be hot and then like 10 feet in front of it would be cold air because it's just trying to warm up the whole shop and this ice cube. But now it's 11.30 or something. So it's pretty much just been waiting around warming up the shop for an hour, hour and a half here before I got to work. But yeah, so anyway, long story short, we're all set up, we're ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is the uh, rear main seal. So I'll talk to you guys under the truck. Yeah, this just proves my point of how cold it is. The truck has been parked in this heated shop for like two and a half hours. And for one, I'm actually just cold laying under here because it's still just, you know, giving off, like it's just sitting by an ice cube and our uh, flywheel there, and the block has all that frost on it. <laughs> and it's been two and a half hours in the shop. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do my rear main seal. Uh, if you want a more detailed video, check out my shorts. I'm gonna make a detailed short of doing the rear main seal. Other than that, we'll see you when it's done. <sighs> Just like that, the transmission is in the Yukon. Man, that was so much fun doing the transmission on the floor. That kind of sucked. Honestly, it took about the same amount of time that it did to uh, take out, which I figured was about 10 hours for each. Uh, I'll be honest, I did a little cheating. I have it filled up with fluid. It's full already. I uh, took it for a drive around the block. It drove good, but Figured I'd get it going and just kind of show you guys the finished product here and then I'll take you for the highway run so we can see together if it shifts into fourth gear, which it was not doing before. Okay, so starts up nice and smooth. Just like butter, all the lights will shut off. Yeah, so obviously got the battery back in. Engine's running nice and smooth, which I'm happy with. And then I will take you under the car and show you the transmission exhaust and all that stuff. Okay, it's kind of hard to see under here because I already have everything buttoned up, but exhaust isn't leaking, so that's good. Transfer case is it leaking from my plug. No, that's just residual fluid from before. Transfer case, redid the gasket there, that looks good. Transmission, that's not leaking, rear main's not leaking, so. Everything's buttoned up and buttoned up and tidy under here. 
no leaks. Let's uh, jump on the highway, see if it shifts to fourth gear. All right, fellas and lady, you ready? This is my first highway run with this thing. Before, it would not shift to fourth gear. I gotta go, actually, someone's behind me. <laughs> Once I'd hit 70 or 80 kilometers, it would slip out and not shift to fourth. So let's see what happens here. Second. Third. Come on, girl, you can do it. Kinda hard to drive with one hand. Get up to fourth. Old transmission. Gotta shift. Maybe. Okay, let's get it up here. Hundred. I think that's in fourth. There's fourth gear. We're going a hundred and ten. Just cruise it. It would not do this before. It would slip out at 70 or 80 when it's trying to shift into fourth. So that is a successful transmission rebuild. I am happier than a pig in shit. This was my first rebuild. Man, that's exciting. We'll do a little downshift action when these cars pass here. Okay, you ready? Third gear. Let off. Fourth. 120. I could not do that before. Man, that is awesome. Funny story for you guys. I legitimately thought the camera was facing to me and I was talking to it, but for whatever reason, I was tired after doing the transmission install and is facing the wrong direction. So instead of recording some filler video, I figured I'd uh, admit my mistake and use this backwards video while I do my outro. Long story short, this is the ending video of my whole series where I removed, rebuilt, and installed and tested the transmission. If you haven't seen the videos, I'll put them in the description. Check them out. And if you guys want to support me for whatever reason and watch the other videos on my channel, here's a fast forward edit of the removal and rebuild process. Starting now. 